Here's a preview of the latest feature of Olex 2 Refine. This is the structure, it's finished with shell XL least squares and we get an R factor of 3.12% and control M shows us the residual electron density map as you would expect it to be for a compound of this type. Now you can also use Olex to refine to refine the structure and I'm going to um, up the number of cycles a little bit. We can in fact put as many as we like because it will stop when it's settled and when it's settled right now it will stop and the R factor will be exactly the same as with Shellex and Control M will give you the same map as well. Now in Olex to refine you can do something new. You can try refining some selected atoms unharmonically. So click on this uh, metal and type Arnis minus A. This is how you switch it on and we're going to refine this. Now we use 16.3 so the data parameter ratio was 16.3. Now we are going to use a lot more parameters so this ratio is going to decrease. So you need good data, you need a lot of data for this to work. And it's gone down to 15, it's not so bad, but the R factor has gone down quite significantly. But most of all, Control M, the map has now become very clean around this metal and the residual density is actually on the bonds. So let's see whether we can uh, tidy up these uh, sulfurs as well. I'm selecting both of those sulfurs. The up key to repeat the previous command, refine this again. Um, a few cycles will be required. Watch this column, watch this to go to zero. Sometimes you need to restart it again before it settles. But it's settling. Oh, it's going up again. Sometimes that happens. It's going down and it should have settled now. Now the parameter will be about 13, data parameter ratio. The final effect is 2.85%, so it was 3.2. Control M. Uh, the map's very much cleaner and also the maximum value now is 4.4. It was about 0 0.7, 0 0.65 in the um, standard refinement. So this is something for you to play with. Um, have fun and thanks for using Olex too.